what I have here is my first attempt at real animatronics. It's uh, it's more of a hey, let's see what kind of cheap stuff we could do. Now um, I started off with this top piece, and I use these linkages from my helicopter. We have a bolt coming up with spaced nuts, a real straightforward stuff, and I have clay actually holding on these Easter eggs, acting as eyeballs. Now, you can see it's actually pivoting on a piece of cardboard almost cut through. And that, that's what it's balanced right there between the uh, clay and the weight of the servo. Over here, this, this servo right here is the one that's going to be moving it up and down. Now these aren't actually bolted in place or glued or anything. It's just cut just right. <clears throat> these pieces right here so it doesn't wiggle so much. Uh, it takes up the slack. This piece down here, this section right here is actually the same plastic that I used without modifying it other than drilling a hole for the linkage because I had a cable activation in this to open this up for this mask in my other video. Uh, actually this is a little bit loose but that's not a big deal, this is just an example. Uh, this particular servo isn't quite strong enough for the mask. Uh, I have another uh, Futaba servo that actually does pretty good. I can't remember the model number at the moment of that servo. But as you can see, it's just cardboard. And this is just to have some fun. I have the, the transmitter uh, right here and the uh, receiver battery set up just, just right here. And these linkages right here it's kind of a, you know, you can do this on the cheap. These are paper clips. You just unravel a paper clip, bend it as needed, and there you go. Uh, this particular this particular transmitter is a old JR. They don't I don't think they sell these new anymore, but they're actually a pretty good bargain if you end up finding one for a 6 channel. Anyway, I'll show you this. <clears throat> now this is the direction that I preferred to have it. You can reverse these in this particular transmitter rather easily. And then I use the throttle for the mouth because it can be positionable. You don't have to, it doesn't spring back, spring back. You can take them apart and remove the springs on these if that's really necessary for what you're doing. But, you know, if you have a, a cheap car radio with some, with some uh, halfway decent servos on it, you can just play around, throw in some... Uh, some strips of ABS, that's what these are. Actually, two of them glued together to make it thicker using uh, regular hardware bolts. I have two bolts going through here uh, with nuts holding it sandwiched together. The bolts going into the cardboard, just holding it steady. Uh, you know, it's not, this is not anything spectacular by any means. But, you know, it's proof of concept for what I wanted to do. <clears throat> um, you know, not the super quickest responding servos, but they're fun. My four-year-old just loves this. Like I said, those were Easter eggs. And paper clips and cardboard. And that's three channels so you know with with this this particular uh, transmitter can be mixed and uh, reversed limited you know this is not I mean JR is not super popular now but uh, this particular uh, transmitter holds its own for what I'm doing so but uh, yeah this 
as a as a unit this was just me playing around I wasn't planning on putting this in there to have it you know be animatronic or anything um, this section may make it in there but I'm not fully sold on its function yet but uh, yeah just a proof of concept so uh, thanks for watching